Hey Hans family and welcome to Hansween. Hansween is 31 tutorials in the month of October, that means a new tutorial every single day. Today's video is a revamp of a look I did last year for Halloween, kind of a reptile remaster lady. I hope you guys like it and as always all product details will be listed down below, codes, links, all of it, and let's get to the tutorial. We're going to start on our beauty side of our face, so I'm using some foundation. This is from Dior, the Dior Air Flash Foundation, and I am just buffing this with a beauty blender all over my face. Well, not all over. Leave your lizard side alone. There's no reason to put foundation on that side when you're going to cover it up with paint. This is the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit in Fair. I've used this a few tutorials now. It's awesome. And I am just going to highlight my face a little bit with the lightest shade. And then using my Morphe G30 brush, I am going to start contouring my face with the darkest shade in that palette. Again, just stay on your beauty side. I am just going to be contouring my cheekbones, onto my temples, and my jaw. If you are wearing this out for Halloween, you do want to set this, just like you would with your normal makeup. So I'm using Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder, which is my favorite powder ever to set my face. This is Gerard Cosmetics Highlighter in Marilyn. I'm going to use this to highlight the high points of my face. It's this beautiful pale gold and get that hair out of my goddamn face but I am just using that with the damp beauty blender to intensify the effect. This is a palette from NARS, it's awesome, I use this shit all the time. So I am using the two pinks from the palette and I am going to just highlight the apples of my cheeks with the bottom of the beauty blender. In the original look, I had these horrible, horrible brows. They were like fucking sponsored by Nike and I did not want to do that this time. So just taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in dark brown, I am just going to fill in my natural shape and keep them pretty simple. In order for the hairs to stay in place, I am just using Anastasia's Espresso Brow Gel to push up the hairs. For this intense beauty look, we do want to prime our eyelids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion all over, on top and bottom. And then using the Morphe 35C palette, I am going to start adding on a base eyeshadow. This is pretty much a skin color shadow, so it's easy to blend on top of. Going in with red and a larger fluffy brush, I am going to start adding the red into my crease and completely blending it back into my skin color. Bring it into a little bit of a V shape on the outer corner and then start bringing more red into the inner corner as well with a smaller brush. I'm not doing a whole lot of swiping, I'm mainly packing on the color and then I'm slowly swiping. Adding in some blacks and some darker reds as I go because I really want the crease to be really intense. So when you are doing kind of a smoky eye halo like this, you do want to really add on your pigment and then blend it out so it blends seamlessly into the color before it. With Sugar Pill's Goldie Lux, this is super, super gold. I'm taking a damp brush and I am just going to pack that all over my lid. Pat it just a little bit on the side so it blends in with the red and then add on a little flick of eyeliner. In the original look, I did want my eye to look very open, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm adding on a little bit of white cream paint, this is from Krylon, to the bottom of my eye and then putting it on the inner rim of my eye as well, just so it looks a little larger. I want that to blend in with the whole entire look, so I am just bringing down the eyeshadows I used earlier underneath the white portion of the eye. I'm popping on some lashes from House of Lashes. These are feline and iconic and then using a little bit of black body paint to draw on these little bottom lashes so that it really gives an eye-opening effect. I intensified my little, little uh, beauty mark I have going there and then I'm going to start using light green body paint from Mayron Makeup to draw on the lizard scales. I wanted these scales to look very organic and I want them to look like the scale kind of reptile portion is slowly blending on top of my natural skin. Like my lizard lady is slowly being taken over by her lizard side. Fill in the base of underneath the scales, a little bit of yellow paint from Mayron, 
and you can also use this to clean up the scales if you didn't like the shape of some of them. I didn't take the yellow all the way around every scale because again I wanted the scales to look like they were slowly blending into my beauty portion of my face. To help break up the yellow I am using a little white paint just to highlight some portions so it doesn't look as flat as it does right now. I am also highlighting around some of the scales that are actually on our skin color. This is Chickadee Eyeshadow from Make of Geek Cosmetics. It's kind of a mustardy matte orange yellow. I am going to start darkening up some of the yellow around the scales, focusing more in the shape of a contour and darkening around the sides of my face. Even though these are scales, we do still want them to have the natural aesthetic of a normal human face. Finishing up the yellow with a little bit of Corrupt Eyeshadow from Make of Geek, I am going to start adding some shadows directly underneath these lizard scales, just so they're dimensional and sticking out from the actual face. Adding shadows underneath will show that the scales are popping off of our face because the light would naturally cast a shadow from them onto our skin. Since we were just talking about light, we also want to highlight the scales too, since they are popping out. So towards the top of every scale, I am adding some of that white Krylon paint and then blending it into the green. Add a little bit of Midori eyeshadow from Sugar Pill towards the bottom of the scales just because we don't want them to have two dimensions, just the highlight and the base color. We want them to have a highlight, base color, and a little bit of shadow towards the bottom in the exact color that it is, which is green. I mean, obviously since we're a sexy ringmaster lady, we gotta contour our boobs up in here. So I'm using that cream contour kit from Anastasia just to contour my boobs a bit. And then I am going to start drawing on my ringmaster coat. They are typically red, which is very iconic, so I am taking Beachberry from Mayron just to fill it in completely and leaving an open spot down my chest so that I could draw our little corset. Going back to the original look I wore last year, I am just using red lipstick, this is Jeffree Star's Red Rum, to completely fill in my lips. And then using Kat Von D's Vampyra lipstick just to darken up the edges a little bit so they're a little dimensional than just red. To bring the reptile portion together, I'm using Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake Yellow Matte Eyeshadow all over the lid and then just doing another flick of eyeliner like the other side. And since I had the eyeliner out, I did a couple lines underneath the scales just to intensify the shadow. And then I am just taking a little bit of black eyeshadow and I am intensifying my contour in general. Because, like I said before, she still would have a contour, come on now. Continue with the same thing that we did on the other eye, just add a little bit of white underneath the eye to really make it look open and reptile-like. Using Mayron's Paradise Paint in black, I am going to sketch out the collar for my little Ringmaster jacket. And then I am going to use black eyeshadow to just start to blend that out. The collar would be off of the actual jacket itself, and so it needs a shadow underneath. Darken up the shoulders and around on top of the jacket, just so that it looks a little more dimensional and it looks a little more aged and rugged. With some white body paint from Mayron, I am starting to draw on my little laces for my corset that I am wearing, well, my corset ringmaster jacket, I guess. Then use your black eyeshadow to make it look like the actual stitches are going into the jacket so that it would have a little bit of a curved edge. And then we are going to add mocha eyeshadow from Makeup Geek underneath the stitches themselves to have them look like they're casting a shadow onto my skin. I'm not doing this with black eyeshadow because black would be much too intense so you want to stick with a color a few shades lighter than your actual skin tone. A nice neutral brown. Do this so that the jacket actually looks like it's popping off of your skin. We need some highlights up in this bitch, so using Krylon's white cream paint, I am just going to highlight the edges of the collar and the tops of my shoulders as well. Again, this is all about dimension, at as much as possible. With Mayron's white paint, I am drawing the little metal rings that the laces go into and adding a few more little pops of highlight here and there on the jacket. And this, you guys, is the final product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you recreate it for Halloween or before, make sure to use the hashtag Hansween so I can see it and check it out. And I will just see you guys tomorrow.